work for y'all boys. Today is just another day. I got a couple days, so I go out of town. Figured I'd give y'all boys another day in the life. We are at work, as y'all boys see. Ready to get the Z back. I um, don't got much going on though. I'm ready to get this car back so I can do these vlogs. I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of bored, kind of sad to be honest. Like without the car, bro. If you like have nothing to do, you can just hop in the car, and it's like you work hard and it makes you feel like you've done something. The cars like keep you happy. But for now, unfortunately, we're making things meet the old fashioned the vlog way. But everything that's happened for a reason. I'm gonna keep y'all boys on track. Remind y'all boys. I don't know what this hoagie ass dude wants. I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys in a minute. He said it again. She's gonna repeat this. I get a lot of questions about like how do you afford what you do window tent bro I did this starting coming straight out of high school and I've been doing it since 2019 it's now like 2024 I didn't really start doing it full time until two years ago and I've pretty much acquired everything I've got within the last two years. I'm gonna show y'all how it's possible. I know y'all are seeing me grinding, trying to do YouTube. I, it just, I'm just doing what I enjoy, doing what I love, do what I'm passionate about. That's what I try to get y'all boys to do, is try to uh, find something you're passionate. And for me, Window Tint is paying the bills. It's able to provide me the lifestyle to be able to just add a camera record and maybe try to use something good in my life. It's a great job. A lot of people would probably like it. It's hands-on. I literally work by myself. I listen to music pretty much. Just as long as I finish my schedule, I can pretty much leave. It's not a bad deal. I've always enjoyed videos. I've always enjoyed uh, just spreading positivity and motivation is what I found through making these videos. So I'm finally like starting to become and find my person. And I just want to show y'all how much it is able to make y'all tinting windows. And there's always cars that are going to be made. There's always going to be windows that are going to be tent, that are going to need tent. Tent's not going anywhere. So for like all my people that do watch and try to get these cars at a young age, bro, I do suggest window tent. It's not really oversaturated. There's so many damn cars. People get new cars. So you're always going to have customers. Um, that's kind of, I didn't really, uh, at first when I started this channel, I didn't really record that because I figured people wouldn't want to see, but I finally think I've like figured out how to implement it into showing y'all what I do to maybe motivate and inspire because I know there's probably a lot of people that want to make good money and don't know how and I don't really know how either I've just stumbled upon this and it's making enough to afford a car that you want in the house and probably support a family you know what I'm saying so I take y'all through this process if y'all do have any questions on window 10 I can help y'all boys out because I do I do 10 every day but we got just the 10 strip left on this truck I work get my shit done and the schedule up here at work thankfully i'm able to bust ass usually i just won't eat lunch get up out of here get onto these cameras get onto my day and yeah give myself as much hours as i can to just kind of be myself record edit if i got to shit's crazy but yeah enough yapping let's get into this tent strip customer wants this tent strip as low as it will go so usually for me i don't like anything below like these little lines i don't got one in the plotter unfortunately and then yeah, we're gonna start with the Civic. I think that's all I got for my morning appointments. And then I got like a old Mustang and a front two later on. A little light day, nothing too crazy. Just enough to pay the bills. So I'm gonna keep up track of how much I make today and uh, show y'all boys that there's a lot of money and I'll be done by four. If everything was here, I'd probably be done a lot before. I got two full cars, two tent strips, two front twos, you know what I'm saying? So. I could probably do all that and finish by two o'clock if it was all here, but I'll probably have both of these done. I'd say it currently is 9.57. Probably have both of these done by 11, 11.30, and then literally I'll be chilling until two o'clock until, well, one, when this front two shows up, and then two o'clock, and then, yeah, do that car, and get up out of here. I'm gonna keep up with how much I've made so far today. As each time I, fig at, each time I finish a car, I'm gonna just add up a total on the screen for y'all boys to show y'all it's possible maybe y'all be inspired to go try something new you know try something you never know where it will take y'all
finishing the tent strip up now as we speak. That is going to be a front two and a tent strip. 100 for a front two, 50 for a tent strip. We are up 150 on the day. finish these windows. I'm gonna get up with y'all boys, but I don't have guests because like I'm not about to serenade my employees, you know what I'm saying? Like if they want to get the good communication and the positive energy, they're gonna have to tap in. Y'all know the rules. A little bit of time, a little bit of dedication, you know what I'm saying? And to stay disciplined, to show up and do something every day or not every day because like there may be some things you can't show up to every day but something you dedicate yourself to learn whether that be YouTube or whether that be any job or whether that be school you gotta always have the same characteristics to get through anything in life and to be successful in anything it's gonna take a little bit of time. You know, you gotta give yourself a solid like three to five years with anything. Three to five years of doing anything constantly and getting better, you should be able to do anything. The human body can do anything, bro. You can literally do anything you put your mind to if you stay dedicated. And you can probably look into your own personal life and realize that as well like there's probably things today that if you asked your younger self could you imagine you'd be doing that you'd probably say nah like for example i never thought i would be able to learn how to wheelie or honestly like if you told myself that i'd be tinning windows i'd probably say you're tripping because this isn't i don't know what i saw myself doing but like, I didn't see myself doing this. And to me, this is crazy. Like, this is a job that you can live off, raise a family. I didn't have to go to school. Y'all can see 15, match the bag. It looks good, nothing too crazy. It gets easier as time goes on, bro. As with everything, if you just keep working, keep saying true, you know it's like sports or maybe like video games, bro. Like if y'all boys are having trouble trying to explain to your parents or relatives or older people of seeing that vision, nobody's gonna see that vision. And sometimes, you know, you can't be, you can't blame your parents sometimes for trying to steer you in the right direction of like, hey bro, are you sure you just wanna make videos or you just wanna stream? You know, they didn't grow up with that in their lifetime. Life is just perspective. Sometimes you gotta forgive. And for me, I've never seen anybody from where I'm from or anybody close to me become a streamer or full time off the internet. So even like my homies from being in a small town, I'm in South Carolina. Sometimes they may not even understand that it's possible or like you can't do that. Or sometimes you just gotta be the first person to become successful to paint the path, to open the vision up for other people, to allow people to see that it's possible. You gotta be the first one. Sometimes people just more than likely, the only reason they're hating is because they've never seen it happen in front of their own eyes. You have to be the first. Don't let that like steer you away from becoming successful or doing what you wanna do if you get a little bit of hate. You know, the first sign of like kinda doing something unless you're just being stupid, um, the first sign of like becoming better or successful in something you're trying to do is People start to hate or people try to steer you in certain directions or but you're also getting love like you can't really get love without hate you can't please everybody and for me that was like hard to grasp was like why are people hating on me bro like I have nothing but a big heart to spread positivity and I don't try to really be mean unless sometimes I'm aggravated at work I can be a 
bit of a, but, but other than that, I'm a good person. Catch me outside of work when I'm not worried about anything. I'm a good person. Just sometimes I've got to learn how to control the minor inconveniences in my life that I let get to me. But that's something I've got to grow on. But maybe that's something I've got to grow on too. I'm going to tip this corner window because I've been talking to y'all boys. Give me one minute. Sometimes you got to change to grow or do things a different way to get a different result. If you're trying to get a different result out of your life, yet you're doing the same thing every day, maybe you got to change up your daily routine. You know? I even should probably take my own words. I'm trying to figure out what do I got to do to get my YouTube to where it can be to be full time. But what do I need to do to get there? I'm, I've been doing the same thing, so obviously it's not do the same thing. So if one can concur, change has to occur. Hey, that was a good bar right there. But so like these videos I'm making now, these are a little bit different from what your boy usually posts. But hey, I got no car. God's forced me into maybe a learning stage of my life or maybe a slowing down part of my stage or stepping back. I don't know what it could be, but something's got to change or I got to grow somewhere or maybe I got to become closer to or there's something going on that's uh, causing this change in my life. And I pray for change. I pray to become stronger. And sometimes all you got to do is just sit back and ask God for the change and treat him like a homie or a parent, you know, like, God, I'm ready for change. Talk to him. I even talk to him yourself when you want that change you know sometimes we don't know how to talk to God and that's been a struggle for me as well like how do you talk to God but I think it just starts with like maybe through the videos like I kind of use these as my therapy session or talking to God is like talking to these videos because sometimes I don't know how to express what I'm talking about and I get behind the camera lens and clearly speak my mind so sometimes like I'll be editing these videos and listening back to what I say and I'm like damn I should really probably listen to myself so sometimes like you just got to find yourself through trying to teach other people and um, that's kind of why I started to kind of try to do these videos and maybe I'll learn a thing or two trying to teach y'all or maybe I'll become aware of something I need to change by telling y'all you know what I mean I'm not a perfect person. Nobody's perfect. So I'm not going to sit on here and act like I am. I got things to grow on. Everybody's got things to grow on in some way or shape or form, whether it's personal, whether it's job related, something. Right now, it's just focusing on. I don't know. Like, if y'all boys are on this video, it's probably like for a reason. You probably aren't watching a motivational video if you aren't trying to get up off your back end, you know what I'm saying? If you're, you're probably trying to actually get up and motivate and move around or finally start doing what you're doing or maybe you are doing what you're doing and you're going through like times where I am where you don't know what to do type, you know what I'm saying? So we in that time of growth, we in that time of like trying to figure it out. So I'm gonna figure it out and talk to y'all boys on what I learned and maybe you just need somebody to tell y'all boys that it's normal. I don't know. I don't have anybody around me telling me it's normal. I don't got anybody. You know, I'll just be chilling back by myself. Maybe this is for the people that be chilled back alone and don't have people to talk to. That's why I got y'all boys. That's why I pick up the camera. It gives me something to do. I get to grow. You get to be yourself. Watch yourself grow. Record things. Watch it back. But, yeah. Another front two is done on this Outlander. About to clean it up, pull it out. We're gonna add the total once I pull it out. If you work for something, eventually life is gonna pay back. It's kind of like the laws of the earth or the laws of the universe. Like, if you put in so many hours towards something, eventually you're gonna get a little bit of it. It's just how life is, you know. And that's with bad things and positive things. Like if you do bad things eventually over and over and over, they all come crumbling down on you and something really bad happens. Or you do a lot of little things and eventually for the good and something better will come out of it. 
and like my life isn't bad and y'all boys just like maybe like me and life is going well for y'all and y'all just want better out of it kind of been trying to find my purpose of what I'm supposed to be doing in this world and I find myself talking to how to improve people's mindset or positivity or just be happy or say the words that they've been needing to hear type of ish and I've been working on that and trying to find that out through like working here and realizing like sometimes the money isn't everything and when we're all young and y'all boys I got a lot of younger viewers like money sounds like really great and you know what I'm saying and you can have a lot of money and still not be happy like yes you're gonna be able to buy the things that make you happy but at the end of the day like you're still gonna have to go to work I've, I've had a Hellcat I've had a ZL1 I've had a SS Camaro I've had dirt bikes I've had a crib by myself and then still at the end of the day I just crave to be like able to make money when I want to make money and just have these things when I want to use them and like right now if I want to go drive my car I couldn't you know what I'm saying is like I want to be able to have the free time with the money and that's uh, to me how I've picked up the camera and I'm trying to figure out how to reroute and rewire my everyday life to this and if I put in the same amount of hours as I've put into tinting windows by this time I should be somewhere comparable with able to make money off of it's like you gotta sometimes remember like life isn't set up against you bro you know if you're a good person you do good things and you keep working and you never give up life is gonna reward you God's gonna reward you and sometimes we get caught up thinking like life is just wanting to beat us up and it doesn't want to give us anything good it makes no sense like we're supposed to be able to enjoy life so if you keep working and grinding and day by day eventually it's gonna be hard and bad things obviously are gonna happen but eventually life's got to pay out and give you what you want it's just a matter of time within and sometimes life doesn't seem you deemed as necessary or God wants you to go through certain things and you got to remember as well everything that you're going through God has to approve for it to come onto you and you know God's not gonna give you something that you're not strong enough to conquer so at the end of the day whatever you're going through God knows that you're going through this he knows you're able to get through this so at the end of the day nothing is too hard for you to get through and that's been kind of the biggest thing that's helped me motivate and keep going as like god knows and wouldn't put me back here to grind 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 forever if eventually i'm not gonna get where i want sometimes you know we're not able to see the whole journey but we get a little vision and a glimpse at the end and we just got to make it all together we know it's possible you know it's possible we just got to keep working and grinding and when the timing is right and like who knows if I'd be doing these videos right now if I haven't got everything not everything taken away but like my main source of making videos taken away I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking about this or I wouldn't have the time to re reflect on that or you know life's weird and sometimes you got to put a couple things together that's repetitive in your life and really think about your prayers and sometimes y'all are mad that you're what you've prayed for you're actually going through now y'all want to be stronger y'all want to make all this money y'all want to become who y'all watch on the internet and y'all pray to become all this and don't want to go through what it takes to become that so sometimes y'all got to think and sit back and think like is what i'm doing what i prayed for and this is just what's building me up to become that sometimes you got to sit back and think like it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be hard like you can do everything you want to just got to keep to it god knows what you're gonna end up doing with your life it's just if you end up having the strength for it or not bro god makes everybody purposeful and everybody's gonna have a purposeful life it's just if that person goes through and works as hard as they should to get to where they actually want like you got to meet god halfway you can't just want all these things and expect them to fall in your hands like we're gonna have to get up clock in work for them keep going when days are rough when you feel like you don't know what you're doing or feel like maybe it's all been wrong and you got to switch up you got to keep working because the time you get comfortable the time you give up there's going to be someone that's been working just as hard or harder and didn't quit when you did at this point it's harder to give up now it's harder to give up now than it is to keep going you just got to keep going through the times when you don't know what to do you know what i'm saying when you feel lost just ask god to be guided ask god to lead first figure out where he takes you. He may take you down a path you never expected. Life's weird. Life happens when life's supposed to happen, and that's all I can say. 
sometimes y'all want things to happen too soon to y'all and don't know if it was all given to y'all, y'all boys would might blow the bag. Like, imagine if you woke up tomorrow and you had all the Lambos, you had all the money. Like, are you going to be able to keep it all? Are you going to blow it? Are you going to keep it all? Are you going to know what it takes to be that strong? Probably not. You got to go through a lot of things, and that's why you see the people that get all the money fast end up losing it. You got to change the money, not let the money change you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to grow. And some of y'all boys don't need all that the same time y'all ask for it. And I probably wouldn't have either. But I'm getting better recognized. I know this now. I may not have known that back when I asked for the mill bill. I might have blown it. But if you give me a mill bill now, I'm probably going to be able to keep afloat. You know what I'm saying? It's all about growth and what you do with it and how you become a better person over time. And sometimes we got to grow as a person to become what we want to be. we got to grow into who we want to become. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tent this back window. All i got is this left. And then we got a full car. And I'm going to update y'all boys once it's clean. Give y'all a total update on the day once we pull this car out. And then we got one left after this one. And yeah, your boys going to get up out of here. Full car, 15% with a tent strip. This one's done. Let's go ahead and pull this one out. We got an old Mustang we're about to tent now. And then your boy is done for the day. Let's put these stickers on the whip. This sticker doesn't look like it's trying to go on smooth. If this is your sticker, I'm sorry. Usually they go on better. This one, maybe you just plan on taking it off quick. That's what most people do. They take them off pretty quick. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Give y'all boys the full effect. Nice 15%. This is ceramic film. as like the last front too. So this one does run a little bit more. You get to make money, do the same job. Just have more in cost, but the customer pays more and you do the same job. All they came in was to match the back window. The back window was replaced, so I matched it to the size for 5%. Looks like they should have came and saw their boy anyway, because that shit looked like dookie. But we got another one window that just showed up. Your boy's got a 2016 Challenger. Looks like we're going to be tinting one window on this thing. So I'm going to pull this jar inside for y'all boys. This is another collision. Cool thing about these, it's always quick. It's one window. It's just... It's not hard to work more than a lot of people. All you got to do is like five minutes more of work than you feel like wanting to do. And you've already worked harder than probably 99% of the people. It's not hard. Strip the corner window, retent the corner. We got this window. You know your boy's just Himalayan. Y'all can see the blue on that side, blue on the back window. Then you got that pristine charcoal. Y'all can see the two color difference. Come to Bailey if you need your tent. Don't want your hoe to see you in that bit. You ugly, your girl big, your hoe fat, your car ugly, you ugly, you got boogers. Yeah, see Bailey for 5% tent. Hey, bro, I don't forgot about you boys. It's the next day. I'm about to go to the store because I am leaving to go out of town to go to Florida, like I was talking about probably earlier in this video and the past couple videos. And... My stanka just ran out of deodorant. I'm not driving, I'm riding. So pause. Anyway, I'm not driving to Florida. I'm getting a ride and I'm leaving in the morning. I don't have deodorant, I haven't even started packing. It's eight o'clock and I leave like early in the morning. So I'm gonna take y'all in this video to update y'all. I hope y'all boys did enjoy my day so far. I'm gonna show y'all boys it's possible bro to make six figures how easy it is just as long as you stay dedicated and do anything for just a couple years bro you can be like me within anything you can make six figures you can make 10k a month bro literally life is hard it's weird and it can two three times progress in like out of nowhere like you can be making 12 dollars an hour and then all of a sudden go straight to six figures straight to crazy numbers that are like three four times the amount like that you're used to it's crazy life is crazy and if you feel like you're stuck and life hasn't grown and progressed then you're still doing work and you're hard working you're staying consistent I'm like don't lie to yourself but if you're truly staying consistent multiple times a week like damn near every day or every day bro staying consistent 
and you're not seeing the results and you do that long enough, eventually life has to, it has to give you what you want, bro. That's just how life works. That it's just that simple. Keep working, stay dedicated, show y'all boys it's possible. If I'm doing it, you can do it. I'm nobody special. Literally, I'm showing y'all. You can see, like, I'm nobody special. I put my bikes in. I have shit everywhere. I have dishes. I'm a normal person, bro. I have hella dishes because I hate washing dishes. And I don't have somebody to wash dishes besides myself. So, yeah. But I'm about to go to the store. Enough yapping. And this is probably going to be, like, towards the end of the video. I'm going to talk to y'all boys in the Ranger, give y'all a POV drive because it's been a minute. I missed the Z. But all I got is the fucking Ranger. So, let's get going. I'll say bye to Wardo. I'll be back real quick. And back ski. She's, I don't know. She's 50 50 chat. Are y'all rocking with Quid or? Quid, what you gotta say? Why do you act the way you act? Why do you act the way you act, bro? You know, it's real love. I throw the ball to you all the time. I throw the ball to her, bro. What cat do y'all know that plays fetch? Let me find her ball. Quid, where's your ball? Where's your ball, Quid? I don't know where her ball is, but let me find this ball for her. I'm gonna show y'all. I, I have like the only cat in the world that plays fetch. Watch. I taught my cat how to play fetch. Look, Squid, I got your ball. Squid, yeah, look. She knows, bro. Look, come on, let's show them. Every time I tell people my cat plays fetch, they don't believe me. Come here, Squiddy, let's play. Got your ball. Look, I taught a cat how to play fetch, bro. Look. Come on, bring it. Bring it. I swear if she doesn't bring it back, bro. Look, come here. Good girl. Bring it, don't. Bring it. Good girl. Good girl. See, I'm telling you, boys. Sometimes she drops it. Like, look. Hey. Hey. Hey, dap me up. That's crazy. You're about to be on Sports Center. That's crazy. She went big Shaq on the app. Hey, come on. Show him Shaq again. Shaq again. Shaq again. Oh. Oh, oh, Scotty Pippen with the goggles. That is crazy. Hey, let's show him. Ryan. That's crazy. I got a one of one cat. Hey, who else's cat is playing fetch, bro? Hey, we're going to make a hell of a bag because of you. I'm not going to lie. You're NBA prospect. Look. How fast was that 40? Oh, my good, good. Oh, my good, good. That is crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going places with you. Not gonna lie. I gotta go to the store though. I got a sip of water because I'm dehydrated. Let's get to the store though. Say bye to Wardo. Be back, water, water. Be back, baby. Got my deodorant because your boy's gonna stink. I don't know if this is like the healthy shit, but it smells good. I got tortillas because my dinner options weren't looking too good. And then I got a long ass car ride tomorrow, so I got some cookies and I got some goldfish for the car ride. And then my dinner in here, I got the steak tips. Yo boys might be able to see steak too. Ah, uh, yes sir. It's like 12 bucks. You can't go anywhere and get that much steak for 12 bucks. And I got snacks for the road trip tomorrow because we're going all the way to Florida and from where I'm at, it's like an eight hour drive. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know if we're driving all the way there. I don't know if we're not. I don't know anything. I just know I gotta be up in the morning. My mom's coming to stay, watch the cat for a couple of days. She's coming up for the weekend, so shout out my dukes for keeping up with Squeed because my cat be getting lonely, man. She needs someone to cool, chill back with. Like, I know I'd be mad bored by myself. My cat, she seems mad bored all the time as it is, so she's gonna get some company this weekend. Shout out my mom. I now gotta go back to the crib. This video is coming up on the end, but if y'all boys are watching, shout out to everybody new to the channel. The Z is coming back soon. Hopefully by the time I get back from vacation, the Z will be back and maybe we'll have some goodies done to it as well. I don't know Tony what he be doing, but 
he's a man of wonders and mysterious things in life. He does crazy things. He disappears sometimes and then comes back with surprising news or maybe he gives you like hella blue balls. I don't know. Like he'd be disappearing and then gassing me up hella to get me happy. It's weird. He's a, he's a goober. But hopefully this he's coming back. Shout out to everybody helping your boy shouts all the new subs. 10k on the way. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Let me know how you feel down below. How was your day? Let me know down below how your day was. I hope y'all boys are doing good. Stay healthy, cool. Stay healthy, calm. You know, whatever you gotta do, just smile, believe in yourself, do something new, try something new. Just be yourself without any outside world, no worldly actions trying to steer you into one direction. Just wake up, don't touch your phone for the first hour of the day. Think find who you are because sometimes we get lost in ourselves. the phones make us get lost you know the world everything everything at your fingertips as soon as you wake up just wake up go do your morning routine think let your brain become itself and allow your brain to train and find who you were back when you were kid and you didn't have technology that's what you got to do detox from the internet that's what you got to do wake up every morning don't touch your phone for the first hour, and you'll be surprised what the mind does. But I hope y'all boys did enjoy this video. I'm about to get inside, start packing, start the next video, because I'm going to be recording a whole video while I'm on vacation, so y'all boys be on the lookout for that. I appreciate all my new people. I appreciate everybody, bro. I know I say it all the time, but it's true, bro. Y'all boys be changing me, and without y'all, I don't know what I would do, to be honest. I don't really enjoy, like, I enjoy it everything don't get me wrong but to be fair like I don't enjoy a whole lot besides making videos like if I'm not making videos or recording what I'm doing it almost feels weird it's like the camera is stuck to me now I'm trying to back up the Ranger with one hand and not hit a car and park in these parking spaces and I'm hoeing heavily but I hope y'all boys have a good one. Y'all so have a good night. I'm about to get inside before I hit something. I did not give y'all a POV drive in the Ranger. I apologize on that, but gotta make sure it's in park because sometimes it does roll. Put the e-brake on. Hopefully this is the last time driving this thing like, until I get my car back. And when I get back from vacation, I'm gonna have to find somebody to take my ass to the Z. So comment down below if you want to take me to pick up the Z when I get back. But for now, see y'all boys in the next video. Yeah,